Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to do some creative gift wrapping using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. So what I'm going to do is wrap up this tie-dye kit for a birthday party, and I wanted the wrapping to be a little special, but I didn't have any wrapping paper to go with this theme. So what I did was I cut off a piece of brown paper, brown, just plain brown paper by the roll that I get from Paper Mart, and um, I'm also going to use some of this ribbon from Paper Mart to embellish it later. I'm going to use this big stencil that I picked up at the craft store um, a couple months ago to give this a tie-dye design, and I'm just going to use plain acrylic paint. I've got some um, pink, blue, and yellow, but you can use whatever colors you like. Since this is craft paper and I really want to make sure the paint stands out, I'm also going to use some gesso. I've got three brushes. I've got this big one that I'm going to use for stippling on the white gesso, and then I've got these three for the other colors. So first, let's get our gesso and start putting a um, white design all over this paper. I keep my gesso in a squeeze bottle. This is a very thin gesso. Um, it dries really quick, and what I'm doing is just putting out about what I'll need for this project. Because if I put out too much, it's just going to dry and go to waste. And then I'm going to start here at the edge, loading up my brush like that, just so I have the color on the tip. And I'm just going to pounce that over my stencil. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to move the stencil next to it and continue on until I've filled up the entire sheet with this tie-dye pattern. I'm going to do the white first, and then I'll go into the color. That way I don't get my white brush all filled with color. I've got the all-over uh, white design done, so now I'm just going to squeeze out some of my colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, probably more yellow than everything, because that's going to be a pretty opaque color. I'm just using your regular old craft paint from the... Um, from the craft store and you know if you were if you had the if you got the white craft paper they also sell this brown paper in white um if you got that you wouldn't need to do the white underneath you could totally skip that stuff step and you could even use like spray ink instead of um instead of acrylic paint because it wouldn't need to be opaque i'm just using what i have because i have a big roll of this craft and um i just really like it hopefully that's enough to do the rest of this now i'm going to replace my stencil here we'll do i'll just show you on one area Okay, just try to get it lined up. Boy, it's kind of hard to get it lined up after you have it all. You know what? I bet I went that way. There we go. I think that's that's lining up much better. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's a it's you know gift wrap. It's going to it's going to get um it's going to get kind of ripped off and thrown away because it's gift wrap. So great project for the kids though if you're trying to keep them busy before a party or something so I'm just going to slide this down so you can see most of the design and it's important when you stencil that you tap up and down okay so I'm doing yellow first I'm going to do pink next gonna be pretty I think I uh, saw the stencil it was like I think it was like six bucks at Michael's or something or seven, or six I think it was six and um, I didn't have anything like it and I usually wait for sales to buy stencils um, but I was out of town and we don't have a Michael's in our town and I thought what the heck I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna get it and I'm glad I did because look I found a way to use it already and now I'm going to grab some blue. These little brushes that I'm using are, you can use any um, stencil brush. Big stencil brushes work great. This one happens to be by Plaid. It's from their chalk paint line and um, they're really stiff. They're great for this technique. You know what? I think I might switch though to that bigger one for the blue because that's a little small for that, I think. Um, but you can use whatever you want. These are kind of expensive, so you don't need to have these for for this. You can use any sort of stipple brush or even like a sponge. A sponge will work really well. This might be a little too big for this area, but it's just wrapping paper. I'm trying to keep the circle. There you go. So you definitely want to do this before you wrap the paper, before you wrap a present, because if you wait and try to do it while it's on the box, it's going to be harder to line it. Now look at that. Isn't that cool? So you want to repeat that um, all over your design.
here you can see the paper all done I didn't bother with this uh, area over there because I know that's gonna overlap so we just need to let that dry before we wrap our gift I think it looks pretty cool I really like the way this tag came out I made to match so I'm going to show you how I did that um, I'm just using the leftover paint from my little palette here and some makeup applicators to ink up some peace sign rubber stamps just tap on a thin layer it's all you need and stamp it a couple times on a large shipping tag these are the manila ones I get them by the pack of 500 at Paper Mart they are so useful I find so many different ways to um, incorporate these in my art and um, I love having a, a huge supply because then I don't have to feel like I need to be stingy with it if you want a smaller quantity though they do have smaller sizes uh, smaller size packs of the craft tag gift tags they also have gold and silver they have a lot of variety there and I'm stamping on the side that doesn't have the reinforcement on it because I don't want the um, I don't want to have that resist there okay so after you get the basic colors down you can do a little stenciling and I just have this little um, leopard print because I didn't have a small tie-dyed stencil so I thought this would um, this would look really nice and I'm just gonna do that with some of the pink and the yellow I have left in my sponge I'm like I'm really like down to the last dregs of the uh, of the stuff on my palette here but I don't like to waste and this is a great way to get a little more out of your supplies and then go around the edges with a little bit of the blue so we're just kind of building up some layers a little inking on the edge and then we're gonna let this dry which will only take about you know 10 seconds with the heat gun and then we're gonna use our spray inks remember we made these with those bottles from paper mart we're gonna use these to give it a little bit more color and this is gonna dry almost instantly too you can have if you press a little bit you'll get big splats if you do like kind of far away and a big squirt you'll get more of an even coat okay and you can blot it a bit if you have any big actually you can blot it to pretty much dry it and um, pop out the little hole in the top of the tag and you have a custom gift tag and this is what it looks like all dry um, and that will be perfect on our custom wrapped present all right, now we get to use our paper to wrap our present. Here's a tip when you have something like this that has the uh, tab on it, I like to fold that down and just secure it with a couple pieces of tape. And that's going to um, make it a lot easier to wrap and a lot prettier looking when it's wrapped up. So then um, I'm going to take the side that has the um, area that wasn't as neat right there. I'm going to put that down first. And then I'm going to fold this over it so you can see we've got a beautiful finish and there is uh, everything looks perfect better than store-bought of course and um, I really w I wanted to give you a tip on the paper it comes in different weights I'm using 60 pound and I wouldn't go lighter than 60 because um, I think that if you do it's going to be a little wrinkly after you stencil on it um, so what I'm going to do actually I want to make sure this wraps really neat I'm actually going to cut a little bit off from the edge over here and you don't have to be too fussy about it I'm gonna actually just gonna pinch it and cut right through it you could use those scraps even to make a tag if you didn't have a, um, a tag to decorate use it for something else it is kind of pretty use it on a card or something maybe and then we'll be able to fold this up nice and neat I'm just gonna do you know your regular folds that you see on pretty much any present now craft paper is heavier than your um, paper that you buy at the store which tends to be a lot thinner and cheesier and rips and everything so a lot of times tape isn't up to the task so we're gonna be adding some beautiful rainbow ribbon let's just get this secured here okay there's the front of our box so pretty and I think I want my ribbon maybe to cross where the um, where the seams on our stencil was so what I'm gonna do is work off the spool I think I hopefully have just enough ribbon I love this ribbon I've used it all up I think I have just enough to be able to go around my present here slide it and adjust it There we go, and I'm just going to tie this in a knot and 
going to cut the ends at an angle. Now this ribbon can actually be reused by the recipient for something, uh, which is nice because it is beautiful satin printed ribbon. What I like is that it's double faced. It's pretty on both sides, so it's perfect for hair bows and stuff as well. So there we have that. And then we have the beautiful tag we just made. And I think what I'm going to do is just slip under, under there and tie it on the knot. And that's really all you need. It's bright, it's fun, it's summery, and um, it's a great way to wrap a present. So check out the craft wrapping paper, shipping tags, and ribbon available at Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.